Have we built in our society a wall of rationality that his arrows can't penetrate? Are we in danger of losing our capacity to love and be loved? I think that is the great problem number one of, of the Aquarian age, that we, the only thing which might save us from falling in the East and the West into a over -org rationally over-organized mass society in which the individual is suffocated. And, uh, and we have those slogans now in politics, too much state too much organization and so on. So people are waking up to the fact of what is negative, that the computerizing of uh, humanity, that the in, in, having too many rules, which are rules are always impersonal, or they, they are for everybody. Everybody has to keep the rules and so on. All that massification which comes from the fact of overpopulation, it's not our fault. The overpopulation demands this organization, but that suffocates the individual. While in, if you study primitive communities or older agricultural communities, everybody knew everybody and knew everybody personally and related to each other personally. For instance, a lot of idiots and uh, mentally sick people didn't need to be internalized because the community just suffered them. They laughed and they said, oh, well, you know, so and so. I even remember in a village I grew up, the, the first day we moved in, a man came and said, my father is a kleptoman and he steals everything. So if things are stolen from you, please don't go to the police. Just come to me and I'll hand them back to you. So you see, the poor old man, kleptoman, didn't need to go to an asylum. Everybody knew his little fault and corrected it. That is personal relationship. He, he belonged personally to the community, including his faults. And, and such a society can, uh, there are less criminals and there are less people ready for the lunatic asylums. There are, uh, such a community can carry the individual or stand the individual and leave it a certain leeway of freedom with a kind of shrug of shoulder, oh well, he is like that or she is like that, in a pardoning shrug of the shoulders. People are taking for, taken for what they are, and that's what we have lost, and that's what we have to restore again in some new form.